Welcome to another NASDAQ update. Okay, so in this wave revision, <clears throat> I take it to the extreme. Now, in my previous couple of NASDAQ ideas, I did sort of present this idea, but I had to go deeper still because something was not quite right. So it took a little while for it to marinate and, and then slowly it sort of came together. Now, if you look at the B wave, the B wave did end up here, did see a C, now we're in D. Okay, now the D wave is smaller than the B wave in this market, whereas in in the uh, Dow, it's the opposite. Uh, the B wave is smaller than the D wave, right? So, but there's still similar things going on, and I suppose it's all just, um, you know, different markets taking uh having a lot more strength in in the first half versus the second half that type of thing you know there's, there's nothing's ever the same right no two markets are the same or do they move exactly the same or do they have the same strength so in saying that the b wave here is a very complex expanded b wave <clears throat> but also i want to just point out one thing in here and it's the d wave within the b wave Right, so you can see there's A and then A, B, C, D, E, C for D, right? So that's the D wave there. So what we're seeing at the moment is within the D wave, the D wave is also expanded within the D wave, right? Um, so I've marked out as clearly as I can here, right? So you've got the A, A, B, C, D, right, and <clears throat> E for B, and then we've got just one more small move up to complete the D within the D, okay? And once we've completed the D within the D, we're going to go down for E to complete the B in brackets for the D. And then we're going to go up for the C wave. And then after that, there's only going to be two more waves left. Uh, well, actually, yeah. <laughs> It's it's very similar to the Dow Jones one. If you have a look at that idea below, it's very similar, except the like I said to you, there's not going to be uh, there's not going to be crazy movements in this market because it's already seen basically put all its strength into the first part of the move. All right, so I'll just draw it out. It'll be much easier. So we're going to see a little move up, down to complete the B wave, up to complete the, the D, and then the E. <clears throat> All right, the E wave will come, and then we got one more move up, and that's it. All right, so that's what I think is left in this Nasdaq, in the Nasdaq, um, in terms of figuring out um, where where the C wave will end. That's a different that's a different question, a different story. I do need to see bottoms in place in order to see that happen, <clears throat> right? Um, like I said to you, the Dow Jones will present probably better opportunities anyway, but I just thought I'd give you a bit of a, a roadmap as to what, what, sh what we should expect to finish off this move in the NASDAQ, which will be wave five completed, right? Um, of the whole move since 2009. Okay. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, I'll put the, I'll link the Dow Jones video down below so you can see how similar these moves are to finish off the, the market, basically to top off these markets. Um, but also notably the Dow Jones will outperform in this last half of um, the move, the final stages. So yeah, hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Thank you for watching.